Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this video, we are going to take a look at the localization dashboard in Unreal Engine. We will also start localizing a small game. Roll intro. Okay, so first things first, we need to find the localization dashboard in the different versions of the engine. So for example, in Unreal Engine 5 preview, you are gonna find it in the tools panel. So we go to tools and in the tools panel, in the section tools, you can see the localization dashboard. You go ahead, click on it, and then we can start working with it. When we are talking about Unreal Engine 4, we can find it in the window menu and under the experimental label, we click on the localization dashboard and that's that. Okay, so that's it for the way of getting the localization dashboard. We are now going to start working with it and we are going to do it in Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to see is the localization providers. Let's disregard that for now because it's quite an advanced topic. So the next thing that we need to pay attention to are the game targets. The game targets are really important because those are, are going to be the parts of the game that we are going to localize. There are also engine targets, but since we are not modifying the engine, we are not going to need to translate anything in engine we are only going to deal with game targets. We can see that there is a default game target. We can see it right there and we can add new targets clicking on add new target. We can rename it and we can, for example, create a target for a DLC, which is another part of, of the game. This is quite a common practice. And whenever you create a new target, you need to take a look into the loading policy because the loading policy is important so that the new target is loaded correctly with the game. By default, it's set to never and it will not be loaded. We can use always or game like in the game target so that it is loaded when the, when the game pops up. Okay, so remember that if you don't change that, uh, you will not uh, be able to load the translation. Let's get rid of that uh, DLC target and go ahead and look for what we are going to translate. We can see the conflict status right now. It has a warning because we have not found any text at all. So it is suspicious about that. And then we can look for text using the um, gather text from packages option. It will look for text in the interface. Uh, it's called stText in Unreal. And you are going to be able to look for it automatically so that you don't have to go one by one activating everything. The first thing is dealing with the file extensions. It's going to look for UMAP and UAsset by default, that's what we want, so let's leave it like that. And then we need to include uh, paths uh, to look for text to translate. So that's why we click on that plus icon and then on the three dots and we go to the places where the interface is uh, located. In this case, it's in the UI folder and we are going to click OK. We have another UI folder in the Blueprints folder, so let's navigate to that also. We are going to stack a bot and then to Blueprints and then to UI. We select the folder and from now on the engine will look in those paths for us for text to translate. There are other options, but we will cover them in later videos. So right now, when we have already set or paths, we are going to add a new culture because by default we only have English and we want to translate our game to Spanish. So let's go ahead and look for that new culture. We go to Spanish and remember ES-ES 
for Spanish Spain. So we are getting the language, the culture that we want. We need to set the native culture because it's automatically added to the new language. We want to start with the recommended, which is English. So we, we develop our game in English and then we translate it to other languages. In this case, ES-ES for Spanish Spain. So when we do that, you can see that a new language appeared and we changed the native language. We now need to gather text because using the gather text tool, the engine is going to look for those text uh, fields that need to be translated that we have marked for translation. And it is going to automatically tell us that, uh, as we can see in English, there are 23 words and now we need to translate them to Spanish. Using the translation menu, which is this uh, new menu, we can see all of the strings, all of the text that the engine found. And we can see that there is some text that should not be translated. For example, that number, that 999. So be careful with that. We need to avoid translating unnecessary stuff. So we can go to the blueprint and we can look for the things that need to be translated and that don't need to be translated. For example, here we can see wh where the play text comes from, which is from the main menu. And in that small flag, we have the advanced localization options. We have the localizable or not. Uh, we are going to localize or not localize the text. We have the string table, the key, the package. We'll see what the string table is in later videos also. And if we don't need to localize it, we can turn off that localize section. Remember that we have that number, that 999, that does not need to be translated. So we can go ahead and look for that blueprint, for that widget, and change that number to no, not localizable so that it is not translated. So I select that number, go to the advanced localization options and turn off localize. With that, if we go ahead and go to the localization dashboard again and go ahead and gather text again or count words, we are going to see that from there on that new, um, that new text is not uh, marked for localization and we won't have to, to translate it since it's not necessary. We see how the count of words goes down from 23 to 22. And if we open the translation editor, we see that there is no 999. We could also do it for those F and E controls. So you can go ahead and do that on your own. But just remember that we need to go through all of the text and see what we need to localize and what we don't need to localize. Because remember that we pay for words usually. So, and translating is equi equivalent to time. So we need to be careful and do not translate more than we need to. Okay, so how do we do this in, in Unreal Engine 4? Because it's just a little different. You can see that near the text box, there is a down arrow. You can click on it and the localization menu appears and you can go ahead and turn localizable to no if you want to localize something or back to yes. There you have the package and the key again and you have also the string table controls. So you can see that everything is pretty similar to Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so next we need to be able to translate the text and we are going to go ahead and translate a couple of words. I'm not going to translate everything because I don't want to bore you, but let's go ahead and translate something so that we can see uh, what is what. You can see that the keys and the context are right there to know where the text comes from. And that key is the same that you could see in the advanced localization menu. Let's go ahead and translate orbs to Spanish, which is orbes. So let's go ahead and write it. And then we can go ahead and close without saving. It is not necessary, but I do it anyways. And you can go ahead and count words 
to see what you have translated. Right now, we should see uh, one less word in, in English that has not been translated, and we should see the Spanish translation grow in one word. That's it. You can see it right there. And that indicates that we have already translated it. Next, we need to compile the text so that the engine knows that we have uh, translated something and we need to package it, as we saw in the high-level overview. And now we need to tell the game to use either English or Spanish. We can do that going to the editor preferences, looking for the regional language, and switching the preview game language. We can go ahead and switch it to Spanish Spain so that we can preview it in Spanish. If we click play, you can see that right now it says orbes instead of orbs. We have zero orbs, zero orbes. And with that, we can go ahead and also use the blueprint, uh, the widget blueprint editor to preview the game language. So you can see right there that it has that small uh, globe. If you activate it, you can see how the content switches depending on the language that we have chosen. So this is a quick preview for the UI text and that you can use without starting the game, which is pretty handy. Now, it would just be a matter of translating the rest of the text with the translation editor, and that would be it for, for our game. If you do not see a change when you switch the editor preview language or when you use the quick preview in the widget blueprint editor, it could be due to the engine needing a restart or that you have forgotten to compile your changes. So that's it for this video. I hope it has been useful to you and we will see each other in the next videos. Please go ahead, like and subscribe.